What do we do when we feel our best days are behind us? When perhaps our peak is something that is in the rearview mirror? Or maybe we've made a mistake. Or maybe life threw a curveball at us that completely changed our view of where we would be. What do we do when we feel like we've lost? Like what we hoped would happen will no longer be the case. How do we not fall into absolute, complete despair? Is the question that's proposed, I believe, in today's one key takeaway from a poem in less than five minutes. I'm actually reading from Alain de Baton's excellent The Art of Travel, but he's actually quoting a Wordsworth poem. So credit belongs to William Wordsworth. It's just so easily organized here. And as you can hear, Skippy also appreciates this poetry. This is called Ode, right? Intimations of Immortality. What though the radiance which was once so bright be now forever taken from my sight, though nothing can bring back the hour of splendor in the grass, of glory in the flower. We will grieve not, rather find strength in what remains behind. What though the radiance which was once so bright be now forever taken from my sight, though nothing can bring back the hour of splendor in the grass, of glory in the flower, we will grieve not, rather find strength in what remains behind. The narrator in this poem acknowledges that which was lost. Nothing can bring back the hour of splendor in the grass, of glory in the flower. And yet the narrator points out that we will grieve not. We will not spend our hours and days focused on that which is gone. We will find strength in what remains behind. Like Leonard Cohen says, Ring the bells that still can ring. Forget your perfect offering. There's a crack in everything. That's how the light gets in. And in that way, perhaps damage, perhaps loss, perhaps problems in life, not just because we're looking with a glass half full optimistic view, but rather toughness is a real thing. Strength is a real thing. And it is earned through survival, through surviving past the loss of the hour, of the glory of the flower, and instead resolving to find strength in what remains behind. I think that's why this poem from Wordsworth is so hopeful to me, because we can all try to live lives where we avoid the worst case scenario, or even the moderately less awesome case scenario. And there can be this still reserve to find strength in what remains behind, which is a message that I feel can be highly useful in an unpredictable word, world. So I hope you've enjoyed this one key takeaway from a poem in less than five minutes. I will actually be doing another one of these key takeaway videos this Friday. And I will post that on the No Weekend Wasted YouTube page. Thank you so much for listening. And if you've enjoyed this, please head there and subscribe. It will benefit this project. Thank you.